Welcome to our lecture online. Here's number six of paper two on the JE Advanced Test in 2022. And uh, this happens to be the easiest and fastest J Advanced Physics problem I've ever seen on any of the tests. We can probably do this in 30 seconds. I'll show you why. Of course, it takes more than 30 seconds to read the problem and kind of orienting ourselves to what we need to do. But it says here that a charge Q is surrounded by a closed surface consisting of an inverted cone of height H and a base radius R right here and a hemisphere of radius R on the other side. So they give us the figure. There it is. The Q is right there at the center of the base of the up inverted cone and at the center of the base of the hemisphere. The electric flux through the conical section or the conical surface, so we want to know the electric flux through this part of the surface, the conical surface, they claim it's NQ over 6 epsilon sub naught, where epsilon sub naught, of course, is the permittivity of free space. They want it in SI units and the value of N is, so we need to determine the value for N. Well, we should know that the electric flux through a closed surface with a charge inside is always equal to this. So the electric flux is always going to be equal to the charge inside divided by epsilon sub naught. Now, based upon where the charge is situated, we can now see that half the flux will go through the hemisphere and the other half of the flux will go through the cone. So if we simply calculate the flux through the hemisphere, we can then set that equal to the flux going through the cone, then we can solve the problem very quickly. And how do we know the flux through the hemisphere? Well, it should be half of the total flux. So the flux through the hemisphere, which is the same as the flux through the cone, so the flux through the hemisphere is going to be equal to the flux through the cone section. It's the same thing it's going to be half the total flux, so it's going to be half Q divided by epsilon sub naught. So now if we multiply both the top and the bottom by 3 because we want to go ahead and get something that looks like this, so now we end up with 3Q divided by 6 epsilon sub naught, and now if we set this equal to that, we have 3Q divided by 6 epsilon sub naught, which is equal to NQ, divided by 6 epsilon sub naught, so very quickly we can see that n equals 3, and that will give us the solution to this problem. Now, if I wasn't talking so much and I just quickly ran through that, yes, we could do that in probably 30 seconds, so hopefully you saw that right away, you saw the methodology, you realized that the flux through the hemisphere is the same as the flux through the cone, since it's right halfway in between, you realize it's they're equal, so the total flux is twice the flux to either one of these two surfaces. And so therefore, very quickly, you can get the result of this problem.